So it's finally time to start the journey of becoming a Mama Moo fan or a Moo Moo or a Radish, I believe. So let's get started. What's up everybody, it's your boy Too Grown because I'm too grown for these reactions and today we have some Mama Moo. After watching my very first Mama Moo music video, which was hip, I cannot wait to dive in and learn more about these beautiful women that make up Mama Moo. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into this guide. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Welcome to a new video on the channel. Have you ever seen Mamamoo perform and thought to yourself, who are these powerful women? I think I'm gay now, or wow step on me. Have you had the thought of standing them but you're not sure where to begin? Yes. Well I'm here to help you with a new Mamamoo guide for people who want to stand or new Moo's. Let's get started. Mamamoo debuted in 2014 under a smaller company called RBW Entertainment. The group consists out of four members. Their debut EP was called Hello and they released a music video for their title track Mr. Ambiguous. Their fans are called Moo Moo's. Moo means radish in Korean which is why their light stick is a radish. Okay. Super cute. That I makes know. sense. Let's start with the members. Solar is the oldest member and Solar. leader of the group. She was born on the 21st of February 1991 which makes her 28 as of now. Solar is the main vocalist, visual and like I've said before leader of the group. Can we talk about Girlie's vocals? Damn, she didn't come to play. <laughs> Solar is probably one of the more crackhead. What song is this? Come to play. Solar is probably one of the more crackhead members of the group, even though they're all definitely crackheads. Fun fact, what? the reason I found out about Mamamoo was because of a viral video of her getting ignored by Jimin. It was love on first sight. Solar also has her own YouTube channel, Solacido, where she posts random challenges. I think some of you guys told me about this YouTube channel on the... Um my hip uh, reaction. Uh, I plan on subscribing to her channel. I just want to like learn a little bit more about their group before I do that. So after I learn a little more about the group and dive into more music videos, I'll subscribe and look at her content and maybe react to some of the content if you guys want to see it. Isn't a video of her pole dancing because who is doing it like her? Ugh, what a queen. So after this guide, I'm going to be uh, subscribing to her channel. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, no, okay, I'm subscribing after this. She has some solo tracks you should check out because it's amazing. Solar supported the Amamu agenda this month when she performed Fire by BTS and decided to bless the gays amongst us by ripping her shirt off. If you don't stand yet, I think you should. Are they gonna show this? The next member is Moon Bile. Moon Bile. Okay. The next okay. member is Moon Bile. Moon, Moon Bile. Bile was born on December name. 22nd. She's a main rapper, main dancer, and second visual of Mamamoo. She originally auditioned to be a vocalist, but she became a rapper instead. Moon Bile writes her own rap, which makes her an actual rapper and one of the best girl rappers of this generation. Okay. Even though she's a rapper, she has a unique and beautiful voice. <laughs> 
수가 있어 잠이 들고 나면 어제가 돼버려요 How do the rappers have beautiful voices as well in K-pop? K-pop is just simply amazing. It's just, it's simply amazing. K-pop. God. Moonbile released her solo track Selfish last May. It was a collaboration with Sulji. You all should stream it because Selfish is a bop and the lyrics are very meaningful. When Moon Bile and Silver would Did you hear that flow in that song real quick? Hold up. Right here. When Moon Bile and Silver were trainees, they didn't get along very well. Really? They always used to fight, but now they are closer than ever. And Moon Sin is the sweetest friendship. We love relationship development. Wein was born on the 17th of Wein. April 1995. Wein. She is the second youngest after Hwasa and the lead vocalist and lead dancer of Mamamoo. Wein is literally the epitome of a puppy and if I didn't know any better I would totally think she was a Macne. Wein's laugh is also the cutest thing. I melt every time I hear it. <laughs> Wein also proclaimed herself as the queen of snacks. I mean she's a snack so let's be honest. She's right. She has a voice of an angel. Can we talk about when she sang Honey by Kelly Wig Flu? I like my girl just like I like my honey. Sweet little selfish. I like my woman like I like my mommy. Wow. Wein also wow. has a solo track called Easy. It's amazing and it totally represents Wein as a person. Hwasa is also in the music video. We love besties supporting each other. Okay. Okay. Fact 2. Wein and Hwasa have known each other since middle school and auditioned for RBW Entertainment together. Wow. Wein was first supposed to debut in another group at another entertainment company. She was a trainee there along with Moon Bile, proof that it's fate that brought Mamamoo together. Last but not least, Hwasa. Hwasa, Hwasa was born on the 23rd of July Beautiful 1995. Well. She's the Macni, lead vocalist and lead rapper of the group. Hwasa is such a talented woman. Is this the girl that goes on that song hip? She's the youngest? She's the magne? Wait, what? Hwasa was born on the 23rd of July 1995. She's the magne, lead vocalist and lead rapper of the group. Hwasa is such a talented That's definitely woman. Her. Like the energy she radiates is just wow. No words. Hwasa loves Rihanna. And when I say love, I mean she'd probably sell everyone in Mamamoo for $2 just so she could meet her. Let's make it happen, y'all. Hwasa once was told that she was too fat to be an idol, which is incorrect by the way. Also I don't believe in stupid beauty standards and I believe everyone can be an idol as long as they're talented. Yes. So when she was told she didn't fit the beauty standards she decided to make her own. What a woman. Phew. Also some of you may know her bop called Twit. It's the song of the year so yeah you should stream it. Latest. 
hey, I'm loving their solo stuff, and we haven't even gotten to the group stuff. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, uh, yo, this song is hard too, man. What the fuck? And yeah, you should stream it. Mamamoo's latest project was the Four Seasons albums. They decided to make one album per season that represented all members. Every member had one self-written solo track on the album they represented. Okay. Wasa's album was the first one. It's called Yellow Flower. Her album represented Spring. It came with the bop called Starry Night and her solo track which is my favorite solo track for your information. Be calm. Wasa came Moon Bile. Moon Bile's album was called Red Moon and represented Summer. If you haven't listened to Egotistic yet you totally should. It's a bop and a half. Her solo track was Selfish, which I've mentioned before. Blue. Is that the same song where she was in the red shirt, like dancing in like a, a living room with that dude? Sounds like it. S is such a good album and can we talk about Moon Bile's vocals on Morning? The album has the most underrated title track ever. Windflower is such a bop and everyone sleeps on it. Her solo track is called Hello. It's very nice and calm and the only solo track that hasn't had a music video so far. So RBW are all waiting. album was White Wind. The album represented Winter and Wind's solo track is on here. Can we talk about Gogabeeb? This song never gets old. I love the choreo and they all really shined this era. Now that we have a music video for Wind's track 25 I recommend you all to stream it BC the video is so aesthetically pleasing to watch. <laughs> Like everyone already knows this, but uh. I still feel the need to tell you all that Mamamoo is the gayest girl group out there. Like, there's a reason most of the fandom exists out of lesbians. Disclaimer. I'm not trying to fuel any shipping agendas and I'm not trying to insinuate that they're all gay. I'm just saying that they tend to have gay interactions on stage. Besides that Mamamoo are they supporters of the gay agenda, they also are just crackheads in general. Like when they really just betrayed their friendship for ice cream. Or their Amao oh Yes music video, Mamamoo. <laughs> Hello, it's me from the future. I totally forgot to add the whole song they wrote about each other's hearts. Legends. This sounds kind of hard. also have the best vocals of this generation and everyone stands out. There is no member who shines more than others. They always make sure they all shine. Here are some random facts for you to know. Sola's stage name comes from Do Re Mi Fa Sola. She chose the name because she's in charge of the high notes in the group. 
Moonbile is friends with Jin from BTS. They're in a 92 liner group chat together. We love legends supporting legends. We in performed on Masked Singer and even though she was sick she still sounded like an angel. Hwaso is allergic to pets and has a fake pet lion who she mentions when the other members talk about their own pets. This was my guide for Mamamoo. I hope That's you all guy. learned something from this and maybe decided to stand. I might want to make a video explaining their slightly problematic past so that new Moomoo's can be educated and to make sure people know more about the stuff that actually happened and the stuff that made up since Antis like to spread fake accusations. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video and please comment your own thoughts down in the comment section below. Subscribe! Really to fake sunlight. Anyways, Let's go guide. also leave some suggestions for types of videos you want to see on the channel. Stay woke queens. Mwah. That was a good guide. That was a really well put together guide. Um, I really love their solo songs. I'm gonna put the solo songs on my playlist. You already know they were fire. Uh, I can't wait to see how they perform as a group because I didn't see a lot of that as a lot of their solo work. But yeah, no, I'm pumped. I'm really hyped to see uh, the next Mamamoo MV, which is going to be a the debut MV. So we did the guide, and now we're gonna do the debut MV, and then we're gonna work our way up all the way back up to um, hip. I'm super excited to learn more about Mama Moo with you guys. I cannot wait to become a Moo Moo or a Radish. Like, share, and subscribe if you guys want to see some more Mama Moo because more Mama Moo is definitely on the way. But you guys already know what time it is. I'll see you on the next one.